marine biologist and I study sea turtles and all of the situations that sea turtles find themselves in, whether it's interacting with, with plastic or uh, coming up on our beaches or maybe trying to avoid nets in the ocean. And so from studying sea turtles to studying the entire ocean, wherever these animals swim, which is everywhere, I became more and more curious about why I fell in love with the ocean in the first place that led to this lovely career and some of my best friends. And there wasn't a, an answer. There wasn't a book about our brain on the ocean or our brain on water. There were books about our brain on music, uh, our brain on stress, our brain on happiness, our brain on creativity, just about anything else you could fill in there. But there wasn't a book about our brain on water. And so I tried to convince some colleagues that they should write it so that I could read it. And I failed miserably and ended up writing it myself. And that, the name of the book is Blue Mind. And that's been the, the, my work for the past several years is making, making that connection between brain science and ocean science and our, our water world. This the thing that's happening here today, most people never get to do this. They never get to drop in with a group of peers who are at, really good at what they do that aren't in, in one's own field and sharpen each other and ask hard questions that maybe have never been asked before and then wrestle around with those questions and try to, try to think of new ideas. That's, um, that's how you change the world.